Hello, anime fans. So, um, short break from activities. I am Wicked Lady, Black Lady, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Um, so, right now we are making um, mouse ears. And my friend, as you saw, made two left ears. Yeah. Um, we haven't even been to the dance floor yet. Um, we did a panel, and then we did a, uh, there was something else. Oh, we wandered into the, uh, video game room, which was cool because someone was playing Guitar Hero through Fire in the Flames and doing karaoke with it, so it, it was really cool. Um, but yeah. So, um, moving on. So you're making a mouse ears. mouse ears, fox ears thing? Yeah. I can get the Sharpie open. Okay. Ha! Sharpie not defeat. So you're like tracing it? Mm -hmm. and... Too bad they didn't have like a purple in it. They had gray, but too bad they didn't have purple. You could have made Yuki. <laughs> I was not going there. Why not? <laughs> That's the only reason we call it Yuki's ears in the first place. <laughs> this is true. So instead, what do I do? I make kind of foxy ones. <laughs> Oh my god, this bunny ear actually flops. This one does. <laughs> Yeah, I probably would not be able to do this. Just because of the, str the tracing. You just follow the edge of the paper. You don't actually have to see. Oh, really? Or at least I don't, because I put it right up against the, the paper. Uh -huh. And I use the edge of that paper to make the shape. This may be where you would run, run into some problems. <laughs> no, baby. I'd probably lose them or my dog would eat them, so... Mm. I probably wouldn't use them. I'd have more fear of the other one. Yeah, the dog would eat them. Yeah. So it's paper, and or is it fabric? This is fabric. I just traced paper to get the shape of a pattern. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, we just cleaned it. It's kind of cool that they have all this new stuff this mm -hmm. year. 
Next year, though, if they have the dance instruction, I am dragging you. That's fine. Anything. Do we have to be informal for that one? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in that case, then we'll have to like eat and then run down there. Mm-hmm. Run up and then run down. Yeah. We probably could have done it this year, but we forgot that it starts at six. Yeah. Uh, we still have to take. Uh, uh, I don't know with how horrified I look in the self if I want to pay for it. <laughs> I mean, if we can just find someone to take the picture. That's, That's what we did last year. Believe it or not, I think we asked um, the girl in the purple with the, the crown mm-hmm. that we saw in the elevator. Yeah. Today. I think she was the one who we asked last year. Yeah, I think so. How ironic is that? Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. It looks like the... Isn't the white's gonna go on the orange, I believe? Mm-hmm. They could be cat ears. They could be Kyo ears. It could be. They could be Kyo ears. Or Kisa. Or Kisa, yeah. Oh, I like that idea. Kisa. Yeah. Kisa would be a bit more plausible because of the white. Yeah. I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, no, I can't do it that way. <laughs> Does the orange go on the white or vice yeah. versa? No, it, it doesn't matter which way. <laughs> okay, this one and then kind of long lines. Create glue edges, press them together. In the top wire. Okay. So. Okay. Glue along the edges. Okay, I think that. And you have to use a glue gun, so yeah, I would not be able to do that. <laughs> oh no. You were supposed to use a glue gun anyway. Yeah, I did. And then I managed to mess it up. I Does it look like you messed it up? Yeah, I did. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I, I have reverse look- ears. <laughs> so? Uh, I, I think it looks cool. And now you know how I feel with this damn bun. I have two left ears. <laughs> She's got two left ears. <laughs> On accident, she got she got a uh, messed it up a little bit. <laughs> you know, if you would like, I've got some extra felt. You're welcome to uh, you know redo. It I think a it's kind of cool the way she's got it. <laughs> here, here. Oh, it looks like a crown of There we go. It's a Chernobyl mouse. It's a Chernobyl mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh! If you want to like, try again with oh. some scraps, <laughs> if you don't mind, I don't mind, of course. Sorry. So I want you to have fun. I want you to have fun. With she has fun right now. <laughs> it's like I get it all the way back to the table and then realize, oh yeah, that should have found the other way. Okay, attempt number two. Let's try this. All right, let me see. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. Um, yeah, that's adorable. I still think, I still think you should keep both of these. Why? So I can have a, like a reverse one at one point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So tell my YouTubers how you did this, because I got the like tracing and cutting, and then you went over there. Yeah. And I'm sorry. No. Um. So 
if you look, you've got a piece of wire, and so you fold over. Let me feel. Eh. Right now, there's a lot of hot glue in the way, so. Eh, it's fine. But yeah, there's there's a wire that you make a hook sort of shape out of, and then um, you take a hot glue gun and you glue it to the edge, and you glue all of these edges before attaching it to that wire, sorry. And then... Oh. Yeah, me being completely blind pretty much, I would not be able to yeah. do this. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you also, once you get the wire attached to the fabric, you then put the hot glue on the... Um, the cloth portion mm -hmm. and then you press this and you have to be kind of careful because hot glue gun hot, yeah very hot, hot. Glue, don't burn yeah yeah wow. and you hold it open while it's drying and then um, when it dries it won't stick is it like a safety pin type thing it's more of a uh, like a hair clip type kind of like the, the one of my yeah. ears yeah like that. those they're like a they're a big duck pin oh, or okay. a duck duck claw or you know, duck considering my wig is Know, a wig. Mm -hmm. They did really good on the um, clippy things, but the buns itself, like, mm. I feel like they're gonna come yep. off. You annihilated it. Annihilated it. So now for the moment of truth, we're gonna go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is announce the royal court. When I announce you, I do want you to come on stage. You're gonna pose right here. <laughs> And the royal court, you will not leave until all of the court is pronounced are up here, okay? So here we go, royal court. Our first court member is Kate Campbell and Takumaki. Hello, great honor, congratulations. Our next court is Ash Cruz as Azra. Beautiful, like you guys, beautiful, stunning. This is insane. This is gonna be the most pretty stage. Our next court member is, we have Kayla Hempel as Belle. Absolutely amazing, absolutely stunning, beautiful. And our last court members, are Hiccup and Astrid, Abby Barker. Amazing. Listen, can you teach me how to train a dragon? I need a dragon. I need to look like Daenerys Targaryen coming down a dragon. Congratulations. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for your court. Thank you, court members, amazing stage. Congratulations, you all look amazing. Phenomenal job, phenomenal. You guys, upping the game to making a non-formal cosplay formal is insanely difficult. It is, it really is. So mad props. I cannot express this enough how proud I am of all of you. Like, I feel like I'm all of your grandmother. I'm just like, Granny is so proud. Like, you all deserve gumbo and jambalaya in my book. All right. That's how you know we love you in the no South. Problem. All right, so. Um, ba -da 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 -da. All right, now our prince and princess. Or, well, it'll be double princess, double prince, whatever, however we want to feel. Listen, we also want to say, I, I, we want to do a blanket thing here because it is obviously very important to me that we don't ever misgender anyone, that we don't ever force any kind of role on you. This is just the way the names are going, you know, like prince, princess, and prince. It's how normal court goes. We will work on maybe some um, non-gender specific terms in the future. And what we're going on, we had this realization today. But I want you to know, we're not boxing in, I swear. I respect and love all of you. So does the entire gender staff. You know they like, I mean, they wouldn't have brought me here if they didn't respect gender identity. I mean, come on. All right. So our prince and princess, our double princess, double prince, everyone, is the Kira McNillis Group, Kruger, and Pennywise. Okay.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Place it on the hat. It's, it, it's fine. It works. I want to give you guys such insanely high praise and props here. Because what I was just saying is taking a non-formal costume and turning it into a formal thing is insane. The fact that you took two serial killers who in no way, shape, or form are formal, like one wears a turtleneck, and you turned it into this? Mind blowing. This is the spirit of what we love at NDK and YE, and this is the spirit of what we want to see on this stage. Like, this is amazing. The two of you are mind blowing. You're so amazing. Please go ahead and give a, a bow to the crowd. Like, please. Ladies and gentlemen, your princesses. Amazing. Absolutely stunning. Thank you. Congratulations. So, so isn't that insane? Like, come on. That's, you gotta give props up. That's so cool. All right, we have an emperor. Now listen, our emperor, it's a little non-traditional who we picked as our emperor, right? But this person, this character embodies, ad, you know what, attitude. And is like, don't need no like man, don't need no nothing. This character is like, for herself, for them, for everything. Ladies and gentlemen, our emperor is Lunara McDuffie as Ursula! <laughs> the emperor Ursula, long may they reign! Yes! Congratulations! Amazing! Amazing! Like the touches of Fulton and Jet film, every the light, you look phenomenal. The wig, styling, all of this, like from top to bottom, perfection. So sound stage for your impress. Alright. I have a huge announcement to make about this. In an unprecedented, this is a year of unprecedented, y'all. Unprecedented, okay? For the first time ever, and probably never again, who knows? We have Two empresses. Yes! The entries were that good that we could literally not decide. And we thought it would be in poor taste to flip a coin. So we were like, why not make two empresses? So here we go. <clears throat> oh no. What's crazy is you're about to shrink. I really think you were that car. Okay. I'm just gonna say your real name and then I'm gonna say the first name of your character. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round of, uh, round of applause. Uh, drum roll for your Empress number one. Empress number one, Lexus MacArthur as Bruno! Buchai. Buchai? 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 I don't know. Amazing. Amazing. So, Empress number one, yes, yes. All right. And. Our second empress, ladies and gentlemen, of the night is Mira Morning with an original design of her own. Welcome. There it is. And it's not just because. All right. I need, so let me get you in the middle of the two of them because we need like empress and for empress. No, like, so like, sit in the middle. Yes. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 Emperor and Empresses! It's like the three biggest, like this is a girl group waiting to happen. Like, like pop stars, like this is like a Gaga thing happening here, Ursula. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and then we've got like this Sia thing happening here, like it's amazing, like oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for everyone here, Empresses! Congratulations, and as always, I do it every year, as a queen, I bow to the empresses. <laughs> oh no, oh god. Okay, listen, don't die. All right, you saw nothing. Is it back on her head? I can't continue this for long. I've got Spanx on! Alright. <laughs> Alright, can I get an amen for Spanx, please? 
Thank you all so much, you made to the stage and your newfound royalty. Congratulations. All right, NYE, listen. You guys heard what they were talking about earlier. This year at NDK, you better be there because it's quite literally Hogwarts. And you better be there. It's amazing. So be there, be square. By our count, we have just about an hour and a half before 2020. Let's do it and dance some more. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no. Okay. All right, listen. We won. I'm not letting y'all off that easy. Cut. Come here. Are we ready to dance again? Much better. Okay, what is this? What's happening here? So apparently I'm playing a game for you now. Really? 17th? Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, so. Oh, we're pitting the face. So we're gonna need some volunteers who wants to come up on stage and do a thing. How many do we have? How many pieces? So I need six volunteers. Okay, listen. I've gotten this game completely wrong. I need one volunteer. <laughs> All right. Um, I need I need someone else to pick because I'm bad at this game. J Jeremy, the DJ extraordinaire, pick someone. All right, you're up. Let's do it. Okay, seriously, do not move, otherwise you're in my way. Okay. Hey, what did I just say? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna blindfold you. All right. Audience, your participation is not done yet. We apparently still need you. You're going to yell at them where to put the pieces. And we're going to try to make a face, all right? That's what we're going to do here. So, let's blindfold. Let me get some information on you. What's your name? My name's Emma. Hi, Emma. How are you? I'm really good. Good. All right, Emma, tell me uh, one fun fact about yourself. I'm part of an idol group. <laughs> Part of an idol group? So that means you have some sick dance moves. Yeah. Whenever the music starts, I bet I want to see you right in the middle doing those moves, okay? All right, all right, good, I got you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Emma. All right, so we're gonna blindfold Emma and you guys have to direct Emma to put the things on the face. And then the face is just gonna stay like that for the rest of the night. So Emma, no pressure, but if you mess this up, that face is gonna be ugly for 2020. All right. All right, so one piece at a time. Oh no. Tragedy. Tragedy averted. All right, so we're gonna give, so this is the piece first. All right, audience, you look in. All right, so we're gonna hand it. All right, direct Emma where to put it. Emma, reach out, do the thing. There's the board. Good job. All right. So where should Emma put this piece, y'all? Straight up? Hello? Are we alive? <laughs> Are there any life out there? <laughs> All right. Piece number one is there. Piece number two. Oh no. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a great face for 2020. Alright, so here we go. She heard that right there. <laughs> All right, next piece. <laughs> oh my God. 
I don't know who's the worst, her or y'all. Like, I can't tell exactly what's happening here. Yes, the applause means we got one. All right, all right, next up, another of these. Last piece, here we go. Oh no. Alright, let's let Emma see her creation. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. Pose with your creation. Emma, you have to name it now. <laughs> All right, Emma, you have to name it now. Emma, what's his name? Bob Ross. <laughs> I don't see a single happy tree. All right, Bob, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're excited for the new year. Thank, thanks. I don't know how to shake his hand. All right, Bob. Jeez. All right, and then Bob is just going to hang out with us until 2020. Oh, my God. All right. So, how many of you are from Colorado? How many of you are from a different state and came here? Yes, that's what I love. Listen, I traveled so far. I traveled so, so far, and I'm so excited to be doing this with you guys. Um, like I say all the time, this is really, so it's technically the year of the rat. We're going yes. to the year of the rat. How many of you are here? How many of you rat babies? Any of you, any of you rats? Chinese Zodiac rat? Awesome, all right. So that means you're my little brother, because I'm here in the snake. You got that big basket out there. I would be Ayane Soma, wouldn't I? Oh my god, I am so excited, you guys. It's, this is, it's the year of the rat, but honestly, it's the year of the freaking nerd, man. We are bringing it, we are bringing it hard. And after a terrible year that we had, because I, I don't know about you guys, but I had a bad 2019. And I'm not afraid to say it. 2019 was bad. But we're gonna put all of that behind us. We're gonna just throw that negativity down. We're gonna stomp on it. We're gonna get rid of it. And we're gonna go into 2020 all positive and happy, right? <laughs> we got an hour and 22 minutes until the clock strikes midnight. I cannot, well, it's so funny. I'm an hour ahead of where I'm like in Louisiana. So in 22 minutes, all of my family are like, Happy New Year! And I'm like, not for me. Like, <laughs> just give it a minute, please. Like, Jesus Christ. And then I'm like, hey, Happy New Year. And like, we're asleep. It's 1 a.m. I'm like, whoops. Whatever. <laughs> so I'm so excited. We're going to go into this with positive light. We're going to manifest goodness. We're going to manifest light and amazing. We're going to bring it, right? Happy New Year. Guess what? I'm sick. <laughs> Not like literally puking sick, but like headache, stomach ache. I think I overstressed about how horrifying I looked in that dress and work. And did I miss something? <laughs> my brother? Don't tell my mom I said that. Um, <laughs> I was thinking maybe... Um... <laughs> You've only been doing that all night. I know. It's really bad. Um, no, you had work, you had 
um, stress, you have... Again, that... It could be, like, the conglomeration of everything. That stuff. dress just kicked it into overdrive. Yeah. And, again, you know what it was. I when, I... when I am in cosplay, at least female cosplay, if I don't look a certain way, like... I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a skinny little Barbie. Barbie, okay. <laughs> but at the same time, it's just like when I'm in regular cosplay, and I'm a girl, I just throw it on and say go. But when I'm in like full on dress, and I had the same issue with prom. Now that I think about it, mm-hmm. all four of them. Um, <laughs> um, if I don't look a certain way, my whole self esteem just goes out the window. But anyway. So yeah, um, I ended up getting a stomach ache. We did not even dance. I mean, like we we moved our we moved a little bit, yeah. but we didn't even do dance. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't. I feel like this year we didn't really. Um, one, we didn't get there as early, and then we didn't really stress about whether or not we danced, and we, we well, tried out the panels that they had this year. Well, again, so. it's just like first. NDK ball, I did not leave my chair. Yeah. I super glued my butt to that chair. The second year, I danced. It was midnight. She's like, I'm wanting my bed. I'm like, can you just leave me here? <laughs> <laughs> and then this year, we're just like, eh. yeah. We saw Queen D shout out. Hello, Queen. We love you. We love you. If, we love you, Queen D. If, if, if you here. see this, yes, we love you. And then we um, made ears, and we got to give credit to what's her name? What was her name? Heather After Cosplay. Heather After Cosplay, look her up. She's awesome. She, it was really fun. So we made ears, or a one set of ears. <laughs> and then we just, we saw the royal court, at least. Yeah. Which was awesome, because we saw a Pennywise dress. Yeah. And then we got our picture and taken, then- and that was about it. <laughs> Um, and we're happy with it. Actually, yeah, I think that's the most important part, is that we're happy with how we spent our New Year's. Exactly, so... We hope everybody else did. Exactly, so comment down below, let us know what you did. If you just laid in bed and ate popcorn all night, then awesome. Because <laughs> that yeah. sounds actually kind of fun. <laughs> so, Happy New Year, I will see you later this year, I have no idea when. <laughs> Bye! Bye.